So the question is, should you spend 80 something dollars on a pair of foundation shorts from 10,000 for me after using them for a while? The short answer is no, not because these are $80 shorts, but because, well, you have to do this. I'm calling that move the 10 thou. There's a good chance I've done that move, well, 10,000 times since getting these shorts. That's kind of my biggest gripe with this product. But if you like the scrunchy tofu diaper shorts by your groin look, the 10,000 foundation shorts aren't too bad. So here's the thing, I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. So I had to go buy these shorts that you're seeing in this video by myself. It came in a box just like this. And unlike influencers, my shorts didn't come with a pocket full of uh, I had to buy it just like you guys. I've been cycling through about seven to eight different pairs of gym shorts, cause my gym shorts kinda broke and got really raggedy. So over the last four or five months, I've been going through all these. This is the first of that batch that I'm gonna review. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about the design of the foundation short, talk about the fit and functionality of shorts at the gym and render my final judgment on the product. But first we need a high spirited montage to trick you into thinking that these shorts will help you work out faster. Seriously, I'm not the only one who kind of chuckles at all those advertisements, right? All the fast paced movement of quarter squats, movements that really don't do anything. It's just so dumb. Let's just get on with the review. Now I've got a pair of gray seven inch lined foundation shorts. According to the website, the shell weight is 168 GSM, but on the inside of the shorts, the shell weight is written as 148 GSM. So who actually knows? The liner is made from 200 GSM fabric. So combined with the shell, this is one of the heaviest pairs of shorts that I've used in the last few months. In total, these shorts weigh around 280 grams, which is two and a half times the weight of the shorts that I'm trying to replace. Regardless, the combination of the shell and the liner results in bomb proof durability yeah the shorts are secured with a board short draw cord which in my opinion is a drawback but i'll elaborate on that in a bit now on the website 10,000 does show five pockets with the line product two open pockets a zippered hidden pocket one key size pocket on the inside and a device pocket on the liner now on my pair of shorts i'm missing the key size pocket on the inside and the device pocket on the liner now generally that doesn't really bother me because i don't usually have anything in my pockets when i'm working out but if i did it, it'd be kind of annoying because these shorts, the fit is eh, which is what we're going to talk about next. Now, unlike one of my favorite pairs of shorts, the liner on the foundation rides up. It doesn't ride up to the point where it's always uncomfortable, but again, I have to pull a 10 thou every single workout, maybe twice, three times, four times, depending on what I'm doing. Now I'm an average size male with an athletic build. I've got an average, we'll say 30 inch waist, maybe 31 inch after a cheat meal and my thigh circumference of about 22 inches. I'm not a big person. The only reason why I point that out is that the moment I get deep with these shorts, I end up with two gray diaper tutus around my thighs. Now at first I thought this was an anomaly for the foundation short, but half the shorts that I've been using the last while kind of have the same issue. Now I thought maybe, hey, they designed it to be like this. Maybe this is a good look. Maybe I'm supposed to expose my pale white upper thighs. And the consensus is no. This tutu look, no, absolutely not. Now here's another issue that I've come across with the board short drawstring area. There's a lot of stuff going on in that area. It's almost twice as thick as normal gym shorts and if you knot the string, you've got even more stuff going on. Now for most people, this might not be an issue other than you'll feel a ball of fabric when you touch your toes. But if you're doing like an Olympic lift like snatching, the area comes very close to the grazing point of my body and that contact hurts. Now from a wear and tear perspective, the knurling from a barbell has started leaving marks on the bomb proof fabric. That's to be expected from that style of exercise. I'm not knocking 10,000 in the foundation short, but again, bomb proof durability and can't handle a bit of knurling from a barbell. The last thing I'll mention is odor. I didn't notice anything after wearing them for seven workouts straight without washing them. I know, gross, but again, I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. So the bottom line at the end of the day is this. The materials in this pair of shorts are top notch. The shell feels very, very solid. The liner feels comfortable. Uh, but when they put it all together, the entire design is kind of bad. <laughs> this is the only way I can put it. And for $80, it's 
pretty pricey for a bad pair of shorts. Now, if you're wondering, am I actually wearing any pants right now or shorts right now? I am. I'm actually wearing a pair of 10,000s uh, interval shorts. And the this pair of shorts, miles ahead of this one. Uh, so let me know if you guys want me to review this pair next, or if you want me to take a crack at a couple pairs of virus shorts that I have, or you want me to show you what my favorite pair of shorts is um, that I've been using the last while. Anyways, first time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every single time I make a fool of myself on the internet, you get notified. Uh, again, unsponsored channel. I'll give you guys a link to my generic Patreon page for all my different channels uh, so you can support me through that way. Let me know what other content you guys want me to make. Um, that's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching.